first of all, it was a great learning experience. So, you know, uh, during my three years, what I realized was I would just share it in a just form that first of all, when you, uh, so what you study as a undergraduate is very different from what you study as a PG, you know, you for three years, you are just studying one particular subject and you study so much in depth and you study in depth and breadth, you know, you study a huge volume of that subject and in, you know, a lot of depth. So you, so it gives you a different insight altogether. And, you know, I realized that um, after, you know, so every, everything that we do in microbiology has a very, very scientific reason. For example, uh, you know, something as simple as a gram stain. Each step of gram stain, uh, even, you know, when on a slide we make a smear, whatever sample is sent to the laboratory, so we make a smear out of it and then uh, we stain it and the staining has uh, is a four-step process and each step has a scientific reason. And, uh, you know, it is so important to follow the process that even if you miss a step, you can make blunders. So each and every thing that you do, however small that may be, has a huge significance and it has a huge uh, scientific relevance. So that you realize only when you, uh, you know, study it in so much depth and you're just amazed that, uh, you know, uh, it is so beautiful. And uh, it is, uh, science is actually beautiful because it just amazes you all the time. And um, that's what every uh, medical branch is. You you just cannot say that because it's a paraclinical branch, you just cannot underestimate it. Uh, it has a lot to offer. It's just that we don't know about it. So uh, that's what I realized. And, you know, uh, it's we just call it paraclinical because uh, the general perception is that you stay in the lab and, you know, you are doing a lot of bench work. But that's not true. Uh, during my uh, GR shift, I, we would go and uh, see a lot of patients. We would interact with patients as well. And uh, so it's, it's more of clinical microbiology. And uh, apart from a lab routine work, so we would at least spend two to three hours per day in the ICU, interacting with the patients, interacting with the treating team. And we had a lot of say in, uh, you know, what all antibiotics need to be given for a particular case, uh, how samples, what all samples can be sent, what all further workup can be done if uh, it's a case of any infection. So, and you know, you can, uh, we would suggest on dosage of antibiotics, on infection control policies of the hospital, uh, escalation, de-escalation of antibiotics and a lot of the other things. So that, and that would be really satisfying because so many times, um, you know, the physicians are so busy with uh, treating the patient or, you know, uh, treating the uh, disease that uh, they miss out on small things. For example, uh, on what is the correct dose of antibiotic that's going on, whether the antibiotic now needs to be escalated or de-escalated. These are small things that are sometimes missed out by the physicians. And as a microbiologist, you can, if, you, if you're a part of their treating team, you can definitely, you know, take care of such small things. Uh, in ICUs, you have uh, patients of sepsis and, you know, uh, you, you can help them find the source of sepsis, whether it's the central line or whether, whether it is a urinary catheter or whether there's a wound which is uh, acting as a source of infection. And, you know, if that uh, source of infection also needs to be treated. So there are a lot of things that a microbiologist being a part of the treating team can contribute. So uh, that's how we, uh, that's how my, uh, you know, junior residency was at uh, Manipal. And we did, we played an important role in the treatment of the patients. And uh, it never felt like a paraclinical branch at all. And we had a lot of say in the patient treatment. So, so we had a lot of say in the patient treatment. And uh, it was a very, very gratifying experience as well. Because um, when you see the patients recovering, when you see the wounds healing, and you know, when the patients are coming out of sepsis, uh, it actually, you know, makes you feel good that you, you could contribute to patient recovery in some or the other way. And also the uh, physicians, they 
ten they uh, uh, all diagnoses are made in the lab laboratory. So it's uh, so they also depend on the laboratory for a lot of reasons, and you know uh, it's it's actually a lot of teamwork that happens. So you cannot uh, lab cannot function separately, and uh, the physicians cannot function se separately. So it has to be a teamwork, and that's what we need to understand. And um, one of the challenges that you know uh, I realized only after as as a microbiologist was that you know as an intern what happens is uh, you you you're told to take a sample okay and send it to micro lab and then uh, you don't realize how much time a particular report would take how much time uh, an aerobic culture would take or how much time a fungal culture is supposed to take because uh, you know it's not the chemicals it's not the chemicals that you're uh, identifying in the blood it's not like biochemistry that you know you identify a particular uh, chemical and then you uh, give your report you are dealing with live organisms here and live organisms you need to cultivate them in the bacteria those bacteria need to be cultivated in the laboratory so they take time and since they take time um it can you know the report vary from uh, 24 48 hours and then once they grow you need to identify them and then after identifying you know you need to do the sensitivity testing and other things so all these things take time even if you you know looking for fungal growth the fungal culture uh, it, it can take up to weeks or if it is a tb culture that can also take up to weeks so all these timelines and small details as an intern you're really not aware of and you're uh, told to just call up the lab and find out why why they're not reporting and why is it taking so long all other reports are ready why is microbiology lab uh, you know delaying the report so this is a communication gap that exists between the clinical um, you know our clinical uh, physicians and the laboratory and this definitely needs to be addressed and even myself as an intern i wouldn't i would never be able to understand why microbiology reports take so long and you know why there is uh, no growth or why there is uh, you know contaminants reported i would never understand but then as a postgraduate yes i realized that uh, there there is there's a gap there's a gap that needs to be addressed the physicians need to be uh, told that what happened or they need to understand what exactly happens in the laboratory and uh, how much time a report takes and why it takes and what all we do because it's not um, nobody first of all uh, we we spend a lot of time we uh, you know we spend we work really hard towards uh, getting an appropriate report for the uh, for the patient so that but just because it's not visible to the outside world um, it's, the gap exists and not everybody understands right so uh, this is something that needs to be addressed this is something um, this is sort of a challenge for a microbiologist as well because you know sometimes um, you don't it's not that you're on purpose delaying the reports but this is how it is the organisms are not growing and you cannot really do much about it sometimes the organisms just don't grow they, sometimes you have uh, fastidious organisms and they take their own time to grow and you just cannot report or you know you just cannot report it any faster so these are few things that i feel uh, need to be addressed and uh, as far as you know microbiology as a subject is concerned it's actually very very interesting there there you know the more you start reading it the more you start enjoying it and uh, that is what happened with me personally and i started loving it like i developed a lot of passion for the subject only because uh, you know once you start reading 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 and then you start understanding and then you're so amazed by the uh, science behind it by the scientific reasons behind everything that we do that you realize okay fine it's, it's actually very interesting and it's interesting to study about those living organisms that we are not able to see with our naked eye and they also have a world of their own and uh, you know uh, it, it, it's actually amazing how uh, the bacteria how they develop antibiotic resistance why they, they develop resistance uh, why the virus behaves in a particular way why a particular virus would uh, infect only a particular system you know why it wouldn't affect the other pa other parts of the body 
why only it has a predisposition towards only a particular system of the body, why we have uh, fungal infections and, uh, you know, so, so many things that uh, it's, it actually gives you a different insight into it. And uh, that's how it was. And my journey